So you have a broken home button on your device. How do you get into DFU mode so that you can perform a jailbreak on the device when your home button's broken? Well, there have been ways in the past to do this, but this way is by far the easiest. The newest version of Red Snow 0.9.14 Beta 2 will allow you to easily restore your device and push it into DFU mode using just a normal IPSW firmware file. I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. Head over to our downloads page on iDownload blog and download Red Snow 0.9.14 Beta 2 and Open it up and then you should see the extras button. Click on extras. Once you click on extras, click the even more button below and then you should see this new DFU IPSW option here. And once you click that, you'll get an overall synopsis of what this mode does here. It basically allows you to create an IPSW that will cause the device to enter DFU mode at the end of the restore so that you can perform a jailbreak once the restore is complete. It's really simple, really straightforward, and it works really well. Let me just tell you that right now. So once you've read through that, just go ahead and click the OK button, and this will allow us to select the standard Apple firmware file for your device. For instance, we're gonna use iOS 5.1.1 for our iPod Touch here. So you just wanna select your standard firmware file, no special firmware is needed to do this. All it's gonna do is create a custom firmware that allows you to enter DFU mode. So let's find our firmware file for our iPod Touch. Let's go to our firmware folder and we should, should see iPod Touch there. There we go, there's the 5.1.1. We know Apple is signing that firmware, so we'll just open that and you can see it's creating a DFU mode IPSW. So it's just a normal IPSW file that will place your device in a DFU mode once the restore is complete. So it's created, it tells you the location, it's the same location that the original firmware file was in in the first place. So let's open up iTunes. We wanna hold the option key and click restore. If you're on Windows, you hold shift restore. You wanna find your enter DFU mode firmware file. There it is right here, select that, and then click on open. And then next we wanna click the restore button. And this will restore your iPhone or your iPod touch or your iPad or whatever device you have there placing it into DFU mode once the full restore is complete. So this is just like a normal restore that you would normally do or normally perform, except for the fact that you are placed in a DFU mode at the end of the restore. This is an easy way to get into DFU mode if you have a broken home button. Normally you can't get into DFU mode if you have a broken home button. So once this restore is complete, you'll just see the Apple logo. I've sped this up you know, considerably. You'll see the little loading bar there. The normal restore, you won't notice anything different except at the end. You'll notice a black screen indicating we're in DFU mode. So it's a full restore. It's just like you fully restored your device and then place it in a DFU mode after you restore it. That's all this is. And if you get a, an error on iTunes, such as error number 37, like this right here, don't worry about that, that's okay, we're, we're fine. All you need to do is just click OK in this instance, and then you should be presented with another very familiar dialog pop-up box. iTunes has discovered a device in recovery mode. That's fine, because you are. You are in DFU mode. That's a great message. That's exactly what we want. So now we can open up Red Snow, we can click on Jailbreak, and we can easily jailbreak our newly restored 5.1.1 firmware. Because we are in DFU mode, there's no need to hold the home or power button. You couldn't do it anyway, because your home button's broken and you can go through the jailbreak process and you can have a jailbroken device even with a broken home button. How about that? So going forward from this point, everything is exactly the same. Just perform the jailbreak like you've been doing you know, for the last few years uh, using Red Snow. Or of course you can use any other tool or perform any other function where DFU mode is a prerequisite. You can do it now because you can easily get into DFU mode. So of course you can continue to follow our Red Snow Jailbreak Tutorial, just search for a Red Snow Jailbreak Tutorial for the full jailbreak portion, but the home button issue is no longer an issue, courtesy of the latest version of Red Snow. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.